I would like to ask about the greatest inspiration in your life. The greatest inspiration in my life was that when I had joined the Tata Steel group, we were taken around uh, what was what is called as the archives or the history of uh, how Tata Steel had emerged over the years. And when I saw the commitment, the foresight, the values that Tata Steel has upheld over the several years, that was one of the greatest inspiration. And I said that I must kind of follow all of it to see that we are able to uphold and uh, hand over to the next generation of what Tata Steel has stood for. Nice. What do you think of the values in today's youth? What do you think of the values in today's youth? You see, this is a very interesting question and I've often debated in my mind as to what, uh, where the generation shift is happening. I don't think that, uh, you know, one, while one may talk about the dilution of values as we have moved over time, but I do re really don't think that that is the real, the real issue. The real issue is uh, our younger generation definitely have values, they respect values, but I think somewhere we are not able to give them a space to express themselves in their true ways, exchange ideas, and to be able to get uh, across to each other and kind of, you know, kind of understand and give, give uh, body to their entire thinking. And as a result of this, what's happening is that we, what we see as values lost is actually values embedded but not exchanged in an open forum. I think we must be able to bring that whole aspect out into the in, into the fore and allow people to exchange their ideas freely and openly. And I'm sure that the there is going to be a, a marked improvement uh, through this process. And therefore, if as corporates we are able to set up uh, forums, set up mediums through which that these people can exchange ideas. We would, we would have uh, the evolution of values in a slightly kind of modified over time, but changing, but the essence remaining the same as it was. Very well said, sir. One motto or a principle that you live by? Well, uh, be honest and transparent. I think that is the most important motto that I believe in because transparency brings about uh, friendship, transparency brings about understanding, transparency brings about uh, respect for an individual and the ability to understand each other's viewpoint well. And I think that is very critical in today's changing world. It's extremely important. All right. Is there something very special that you're looking forward in this carnival here? Well, uh, I think I am looking forward to meeting several people and exchanging some thoughts with them. And I think uh, I would like to understand from them the various aspects of, uh, of a changing lifestyle, of the changing landscape of India and of the world, so that we are able to grasp some of it, shape some of our thoughts, rethink some of the approaches for our organization, rethink something for the youths of India, of uh, Jamshedpur, so that we are able to present this in a different way. I think that's what I'm looking for in this. Hey, well, sir, sir, thank you very much for the insightful knowledge. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much.